in the last video, we introduced logical propositions. In this video, we'll take a look at some logical operators. Let's say that we want to combine two propositions. For example, it's cold outside. I am wearing a coat. We can combine these propositions using the word and. Since we have combined two propositions, we call this a compound proposition. In this case, and is a logical operator. Now sometimes it's helpful to replace propositions with variables. For example, we can replace it's cold outside with P. We'll keep the and for now, and then we'll replace I am wearing a coat with Q. Here is a symbol that we normally use to represent and. The and operator is properly referred to as a conjunction. So how do we evaluate the truth value of a compound proposition? When you use an AND operator, you are proposing that both propositions are true. So for the statement to be true, both P and Q must be true. If either P or Q are false, then the entire statement is false, even if one of them is true. And of course, if both P and Q are false, then the statement is also false. Here is a truth table for conjunctions. So if P and Q are both true, the statement P and Q is also true. If P is true but Q is false, the statement P and Q is false. So as you can see, unless both P and Q are true, P and Q is false. Now let's take a look at disjunctions, commonly known as OR. A disjunction is represented with this symbol. Here's how we evaluate the truth value of a disjunction. If both P and Q are true, the statement P or Q is also true. If one of the propositions are true but the other is false, the statement P or Q is still true. So for a regular disjunction, it's only when both P and Q are false that the statement is false. Now it's very important not to confuse a disjunction with another type of OR, known as the exclusive disjunction, or the exclusive OR, or XOR. An exclusive OR is represented with this symbol. So to help distinguish between OR and XOR, let's take a look at a well-known example. Probably the most familiar is when you go to a restaurant, you are sometimes given the choice between either soup or salad. Usually you can only have either soup or salad, but not both. This is an example of an exclusive OR or XOR. So let's compare the truth tables for a disjunction with an exclusive OR. Notice that for an exclusive OR, if both P and Q are true, the statement is actually false. Here's a quick table that shows the differences in terminology between the two. So this was just a quick overview of conjunctions, disjunctions, and exclusive operators. Remember, not to get confused between OR and XOR.